I, by the way, just as a blanket thing, if I missed your question, it's tot in a scrolled off screen, it's totally fine to copy and paste it again. I'm not going to shit on you for it. The mods aren't going to shit on you for it. And if the mods do shit on you for it, then t tell them to not shit on you for it because I told them not to sh- you Fucking communication, you get it. <laughs> Does this game progress infinitely, or is there an ending? There is an ending. Although you can disable it if you want to and have it go forever. Um, so we decided to start... You can start in, like, multiple different start dates of different historical periods of time. Oh, look how beautiful that medieval map looks. Do you like the illustrations and everything? So, as you'll see here in the culture, this is kind of like your tech, is your culture. Um, we are Anglo-Saxon, so as us as Anglo-Saxons invent things... Everyone who is of an Anglo-Saxon um, culture will then get that technology, I guess you would say. And as you can see, you start in tribal, you go through early medieval, high medieval, and late medieval. I believe the end date of the game, if I remember right, is, uh, fort is 1444 AD. That's when you would then stop playing the game and start playing Europe Universalis 4, which is a game based around uh, Renaissance and colonial days, all the way up to right at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, where you would then play the game Victoria 2, which is focused on the Industrial Revolution up until the lead up to World War II, where you then play Hearts of Iron 4, which is the three years before World War II, and then World War II itself. And that way you can play one company, one company's games that lead you through all the way from early medieval all the way to the end of World War II. How awesome is that? Speaking of tech, by the way, we're not super far off on Royal Prerogative anymore. Looks like it's about 14 years away, which is probably our lifetime. We're 42 years old and we're of okay health right now. But you never know. There's probably a lot of people who want to assassinate us. We've got bonuses against it, but it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So how goes the development in London, by the way? Because that's a high priority for me. We're up at 17. I think our cap might be 20 right now, but I don't know if we'll know till we get there. If I go to Public Works... You now reach the pen the maximum uh, penalty at 20. Okay, we're going to reach that long before we get the tech to raise it more. So I'm thinking Royal Prerogative, so that we can boost our Crown Authority. Then Hereditary Rule, so we can finally clean up the Inheritance Law, so that we can conquer a lot more without worrying so much about civil wars after the king dies. Then I'm thinking Coinage. Coinage, um... Oh, sorry, that's Development Growth. No, 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 I want, I want Cap. Communal government? Communal government will raise the cap to 35. Yeah, probably real prerogative, hereditary rule, then communal government. The higher our development is, the more troops we have, the more money we get, and the more, the faster we research. And as we all know from strategy games in general, science bonuses pay off early. Because the earlier you get new techs, the longer over the span of the game you get to benefit from it. Uh, Amandjoy, you're bringing up Civ earlier. I don't know if you play Civ or not, or if it's just a game you've seen similar to it. So, I mean not to condescend by saying this. However, tip for Civ for anyone playing, because I used to be an immortal level Civ player. Second highest difficulty in Civ 5. I'm not quite there in Civ 6, but I don't practice as much. Civ 6 is sweet, though. Um, that's why... High-ranked civilizations are usually ones with early game bonuses. If you set yourself up for really solid early game, that will pay off longer in the long run. You play Civ 4? Sweet, Civ 4 is my favorite one, actually. It's it's a bit of a tie between Civ 4 and 6. They're very different. Apples and Oranges, both fantastic video games. We should play it together sometime. I love me some Civ 4. Anyway, I, I play Civ 4 with my mom all the time. It's great. So... That is why a lot of top-tier people in Civ 4, beyond the financial trait, which is good the whole game, are people like the Inca, who have very good early game bonuses. Those are the kinds of people that they pay off in the long run. India, they have a bonus that keeps you with you the whole game. Once I get my PC, you let me know when. Okay, something unusual. Anyone can buy a token of affection, big or small. If I want to impress Queen uh, Sel Selsa, I think that's how you say it, I should send her something truly special. What are our options here? 
a book, a handkerchief with my crest, a seashell, or just forsake the opportunity. She's a content villain. She's quite young at 22. She's humble, honest, but callous. And she's a bastard. She's talented martial, mostly. A rare book? I don't know if that would appeal to her. Handkerchief with my crest? Make a good use of a symbol from someone of my stature. I am a higher born than she is. She's from an obscure family. I have so much more renown than her and so much more fame than her that that might actually be a compliment. And a seashell, a reminder of our first meeting. I th and that is, I think she already cares for me in some way. She does actually like us a lot. Maybe the seashell is the right move. I'm going to go with the seashell. I feel like that's more thoughtful, you know? You don't own it right now? Ah, just fucking whatever. We're friends. Just give me your steam and I'll just send it to you. The thing is on sale all the time anyway. Okay, we tried for it. Thank you so much for the seashell you gave me. I can scarce remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. Anything for you. Gains budding interest. Scheme success. Chance up 15. Hell yeah. That worked out. So we're up to 60% now and the event will pop in 7 months. Okay, right now we're just trying to build up some money right now. The land really got raided hard during the war. If you don't remember, when the Civil War happened, Vikings started landing like crazy. As all of our armies were too occupied, the Vikings kept landing and raiding the land. And so there aren't many um, peasants to tax right now. So, you know. <laughs> you like Civ 6? Every YouTuber I heard said is bad. What do you like about it? I fucking love the depth of switching policies every few turns to synergize the best you can. I love the depth of the new great person system where there's a new ability on every great person you get. I love the depth of placing districts and where you want to place them and when you want to place them and how you want to place them. I love the depth of how the AI people can be interacted with so many different ways. I love that military isn't, like, the only way to go anymore. There's so many different ways to go. Dude, I think... I as And again, I'm a lifelong Civ player. I used to... I used to be a very high-level player on Civ 5. I made a whole video on the problems on high-difficulty Civ 5. I strongly believe that every Civ game that's an odd number is a good first try, and the even number one after it is the refined product. Civ 4 is an awesome version of Civ 3. Civ 6 is an awesome version of Civ 5. I strongly believe that. To the point that I will even say that Civilization Beyond Earth is much more replayable than Civ 5. Beyond Earth is fantastic outside of how it's not well updated and it crashes. The question of loyalty. My wife is with child and I should be overjoyed. Oh, she's not cheating. We've done this twice before. She's not. It's just we have the paranoid trait. He will always think on every pregnancy there's cheating. I will do the intrigue thing that we have failed before. Twice we've failed. We have rolled the 9% on this twice. That pisses her off. But I'm going to just try and find out. And we will probably succeed because we are very good at intrigue challenges. Suspicions laid to rest, she found out. We landed on the less than 10% three times in a row. Is this bugged? Is it bugged? No, it's glitched. Is it really glitched? Because seriously, that's that made her like us less. It has to be, right? Like, just statistically, that's nuts. God, can I send her a gift? 50 bucks and it'll barely do anything. Not worth it. That's five months' pay. Mm. It's not a bug? Yeah, it's glitched? Fuck me. <laughs> Whatever. We'll survive. Will you do a Skyrim playthrough on YouTube? I have. I've also done Skyrim challenges, too. Okay. Uh, I... Oh, hey! Lifestyle perk! Oh, hold on. Let's, um... Let's deal with the perk first. Right, so we were just starting to get into the schemer tree. Swift execution's pretty cool. Disrupt schemes effectiveness. Nice. 
Digging for dirt, find secret uh, secret progress faster. That would pay off pretty well. And it would get me towards Kidnapper, which is very strong. Kidnapper is strong. If you can kidnap the dude who you're at war with, you auto win the war. Have you ever played D&D? Yeah. A little bit. Uh, I've always liked D&D. I just don't have time for it. More seduction? I could. I could increase my fertility, although I'm not... Don't want, like, a ton of kids. I could do seduction scheme uh, power up, but that would only help me with seducing my wife because it's the only one I'm planning to seduce. Fuck it. Why not? Celebration has come to an end, and the evening's entertainment seems to be over when Queen Selsa uh, suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrives, wondering what the guests would like to hear, and I see my chance to impress Selsa. Something pious. Let's be entertained. Riddle poems. Or the perfect state, uh, the perfect state would be a, a chance for, uh, to learn. Sorry, I can't read. Informative entertaining religious she is n she is humble which is a piety trait honest is virtuous to catholics she might be pious mm. I really don't know what it would be on this one. I'm gonna go with Pious. I'm gonna go with Pious. As the clerk reads to us, uh, Salsa seems completely engrossed. She later approaches me. Good choice, she says and glances down. It was great, wasn't it? Smoldering chemistry. Okay, our success chance is at 80. I'm feeling pretty good. It's probably about to go up when the month rolls over because the trait we just got. It didn't, but whatever. Maybe it'll help later. I don't know. Were you supposed to change lifestyle focus? Uh, no, I'm still okay with getting more intrigue ones. Um, uh, neither of those physicians are better than mine. Not endorsed by my archbishop. I should... Well, I'm currently doing a, uh, a social scheme, or else I'd sway him. Only two kids so far? What? No, I've got four kids. Will you do a RimWorld playthrough? I did. It's actually like over 100 episodes long. It's mostly uh, in a playlist. Yeah. Sorry to hear about your wife. Hope she's be she's good now. Don't worry. The she's okay. Car crash was really bad, but she's okay. We talked about it a little earlier in the stream. Oh, right, right, right. You guys were talking about switching from a, a lifestyle focus to another one in the same tree. My bad. Sorry, I, I did mean to do that since we don't need the dread anymore. Uh, fertility, attraction, seduction scheme. This is so short term, I don't think I should pick it. Skullduggery, agent acceptance, and intrigue is valuable. We'll switch to that. My beloved wife. The servants have all been sent away, and our bed has been decorated with seashells. As Queen Salsa enters our chamber, she smiles humbly and joins me without any hesitation. Just like she's like nine months pregnant right now. With the help of hands, mouths, and limbs, we reaffirm the devotion we swore before God, perhaps in a more uh, carnal fashion than intended. Not sure what that means, but I mean, I know what it means. I don't know the word carnal. I have an idea. Boom, we just we just win, I think. Yeah, she becomes your lover, gains opinion, and seduction, yeah. Boom, we did it. That was easy. Your wife and lover. Oh, we have another lover, like, far off in somewhere I don't care about. And Oh, it's in Surrey. That's actually local. Uh, I'm gonna break that off. That was from before I even controlled this guy. Nah, break up with her. Sorry. Okay, now that we can do another social thing, I want my archbishop to endorse me, and it's not easy because we're a sinner. Yeah, he hates my fucking guts. I don't know if we're getting get him to like me. Okay, maybe I have a vassal who's on the verge of liking me? This guy's not too far off. Okay, this guy's got some value, and we could get him on our side. Sway him. We can sway people fairly easily, mostly because everyone's afraid of me. 
Ever played Mass Effect? I played this first and second one a little bit. They're pretty fun. I want to do a series on them one day. I started a series on one forever ago, but didn't continue. Also, new sun called Jakake. We all know what it means. We all know what it means. And this kid also has a one in stewardship. No other traits yet. Sometimes they're born with a trait. Not often. Um, this person... I cannot stand this imprisonment any longer. Would you accept this in return for my freedom? $30? No, but now that you talked, can I ransom you... Or can I torture you again? I can't torture you for two more years? Bummer. Mm, you're blind. I'm gonna move you to the dungeon, though. Nah, just keep her in house arrest till the next torture. Oh, is that the second kid called that? My bad. Okay, who can we blackmail here? We know this person's lover. Your sister? I don't want to blackmail my sister. Feels mean. Mm. Who's in our prison? Oh, this guy can be tortured. Godless villain. Oh no, the Kitterminster family wouldn't like me for it. There's four members. I don't care. Do it. Get those dark insights. Yay! Had to be done. Not insane. Damn it. Still only have a plus one and one thing from Dark Insights. Oh, the first Jukake comes of age. Okay, three star in intellect education. That's pretty solid. He's craven, so he's cowardly. Uh, oh, he's the heir. He's paranoid and craven, but he's gregarious. Weird trait combo. His stats are not bad overall, but not amazing. His posture is terrible. <laughs> uh, chat's good today. <laughs> when uh, do you get the ability to kidnap people? It might be our next point. No, we need two more points for it. We need digging for dirt, and then we can get it. And I wouldn't mind getting digging for dirt soon, actually. That's a good one. I think we're safe enough from schemes now, with how dreadful we are, that we could just, uh, we could just start finding secrets again. Let's get some blackmail going. Who hates me? Which one of my vassals hates me the most? This prick? The prick in Warwick. Alright, start finding secrets. See if we can figure out that he... Uh, kicked a puppy. Okay, we have a little bit of money? What a castle could have its mansion or its manor upgraded, but... I kind of want to build it more. You never know when you need mercs. How long do you think it'll be for before another kid? Probably not long. Seems like we're having a lot. Marshall impresses Vassal. Hell yeah. Oh, it's good. That that person uh, didn't like me much before that. Every nook and cranny. A dark night can truly make the shadows in my castle hallways come alive. The perceived risk for unsanctioned visitors raise ever higher for every unguarded corner spotted. If I alone can see this many, these many faults, imagine what more people with similar perspectives could do. I will hire a group of discreet agents. Lose a hundred bucks. Or my perception alone's fine. I'm not losing the money. I want the fort level and garrison. I don't think I'm about to get stabbed. I eh, still can't ransom that for much money. I'm going to keep them in prison for now. That paranoia coming through, though? Yeah. It's a weird trait to play with, paranoia. It gives you a lot of false positives, you know? What will happen to the Second War? Whatever happened to the Second War? I'm not sure what you mean, sorry. Oh, I have a little bit of hicc hiccups going on. Okay, 
Neither of those are better than my physician. <laughs> I don't think I'm about to get stabbed. The last words of someone, of a man about to be stabbed. Playing with paranoia seems like a fun trait. It can be, especially if you are an intrigue high character. Then it's really fun. Yes, lunatic is also a good trait. You get a lot of unique stuff with that. I just realized, by the way... Oh, hey, there's a new menu here. Cool. We have enough renown that we could get a second ability for the entire family tree. And I kind of want one because some of these opening ones are good. Now, if we save up to 2,000 renown, which is a while off... We could get Convergent Blood. Chance of reinforcing congenial traits up 30%. That'll help you breed in really healthy traits. Right now, we just have up 30% of inheriting and new good ones, which is still solid. But there's also good things here, like marriage acceptance up 30%. That'll guarantee you some very strong alliances. Fertility up 10%. That'll mean large families, which means more renown. Vibrant Court, better guests get attracted. That's good. Dread Gain, 20% up. I don't really need that. Mostly fair, popular opinion up by 5, so just everyone in the world likes you more by 5. It's not bad, but it's not much. And Night Effectiveness, 15% and Prowess up. That never hurts. I think I really want um, Desirable Match under Glory. Marriage Acceptance up 30 is really big. And then Monthly Prestige, yeah. Some of these opening things are sweet. I'm gonna go with Desirable Match. That's really good. That'll get us great alliances with our kids. And remember, this applies to our entire family tree. Other people on our family tree will also have that bonus. Essentially, it makes us a famous family that people want to marry into. Okay. Uh, truth does not stop us. We could simply make sure that he suddenly did have Zeker's right, because we, we have the truth as relative. We can drop money on fake strong hooks. I have no interest in paying a hundred bucks for a strong hook on her. No reason we cannot be friends instead, which will make their, them like me. I forgot about that. If you turn down fabricating about someone, they'll actually like you more. It's a good trait. Popular opinion is how likely a county is to rebel. General opinion is how much people like you. Thank you. I forgot about the difference in terminology. Oof. Headset's pulling on my hair really hard. My hair's starting to get a lot longer again. I'm probably looking pretty disheveled, but I kind of like it. My hair is really silky smooth and nice. And I missed having long hair. I used to have long hair for uh, about 10 years. Didn't get a single haircut in 10 years. Either than, like, a slight trim once. Then I did my own hair, gave myself a mohawk, it was fun. And now it's all just grown out, because uh, I stopped, and it just kind of feels nice. But it's okay, because I have a headset, so you can always see how bad my hairline is. I'm not trying to hide shit. It's just, look, I'm Slovak, what am I supposed to do about it? I, in I inherited uh, a hairline from the old country. Damn, that's a really powerful trait. I know, right? Oh, hey, you didn't make shit up about me. Thank you. <laughs> I wish it was like that in real life. Instead, people just make shit up about me on the internet and there's nothing I can do about it. But fucking, I don't know. People can be weirdos. All right. That's really bad. That's a really powerful trait. The bad hairline? <laughs> no, it's a negative trait. People make fun of me for it on the internet. All right. Uh, so we want a martial or an intrigue education on Princess Gadges. Got it. Um, well, I think we need to change some religious laws before women can be marshals, but they can be spy masters fairly early, I think. Let's give her an intrigue education. There's a solid chance. There's a solid chance that she could uh, actually end up being quite good at that. Oh, county control done. Oh, what was that? Oh, sweet. 
Catholic uh, fervor increased. Nice. Virtuous uh, bishops. That's always good. Haven't you had female spy masters already? I think so. I yes. In fact, you can do them now. Good. Perfect. I see the money is going up, by the way. We're starting to get things under control again. I'm just seeing if there's anything I can get the control up on uh, stuff we personally own. Okay, all things we directly own already have their control up. So now let's start working on places that are worth some money. Uh, East Sussex, I think, is a fairly rich place, so we will start working on that. So this is places where we want the vassals there to make more money by getting control, because then they'll pay us more in tax, you know? There's more to go up. They make fun of me. I mean, it's free renown. True? How long until the Tower of London? What was the tech that was gated behind again? I will check. Because I'd really like the Tower of London. It would totally shut down civil wars. Oh, no, didn't mean to close that. Sorry, so many windows. Battlements innovation. I think that's in our age. Yes, we need battlements, which is right up here. Without focusing on it, 312 years, which is incredibly far off. However, when we focus on it, it'll be like 36. But we have other higher priorities. Royal Prerogative is only 11 years off. I'd love to have higher learning, though, to speed it up. Uh, who's this person we can make like us? Like some bishop, sure. You got a full head of hair, slightly graying. At 29, lucky. Okay. Looks like our steward died. Yeah. Died of great pox. That's a bummer. He was a decent one. He had some land, too. Okay, well, we have a duke here, our brother-in-law, who is a powerful vassal and quite talented with money. I'll assign him. There we go. That brought him up to the positive, and he'll do a good enough job. Ooh, my stomach is starting to growl. You know what I ate for breakfast today? My first ever roast chicken that we roasted ourselves. It was pretty good. We made it in a slow cooker, and then we popped it in the oven for a little bit with some olive oil to toast it up, and it was delicious. Would you play Satisfactory with Truth again? I actually just started playing that game again a couple weeks ago, and it's really fun. I'd love to play it again with Truth. We just gotta figure out when we're free. And by that, I mean we gotta figure out when the hell I'm free. <laughs> Truth's videos he's been doing recently, by the way. He's been reviewing X-Files episodes from... X-Files. Was it, was it X-Files? What's the really old show... Where they do, like, black and white sketches about creepy ideas. That was X-Files? Or, no, Twilight Zone? Was that Twilight Zone? I was for I get the two names mixed up a lot. But he's been doing reviews on them, and they're really cool, because I never watched that show. Twilight Zone, thank you, it's Twilight Zone. He's been doing ep He's been reviewing Twilight Zone episodes from the first one onwards, and it's been really fun. Um, I believe his YouTube channel is called Truth Bomb, T- are T H R O O T A T T R O O T H. Yeah, sorry. I don't have a visual memory because of my aphantasia, so it's hard for me to spell things like that. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Truth. The word truth, but spelled like tooth, kind of. You got it? Yeah. Are you at least taking Christmas off from working? No, I'm probably still working Christmas morning. I guess that means Dwarf Fortress is dead? No. Dwarf Fortress is not dead. Dwarf Fortress is very fun. I want to play it more. Sway, the visit. I'm passing through uh, Bren... Bedenford, the capital of my uncle, Prince Wariston, where I, uh, when I received an invitation to his castle. As I arrived, he welcomes me with respect and tour. One last, uh, one thing that strikes me about this place is it's full of unfinished products. Uh, projects. I can say just show me to my room and I'll leave first thing in the morning. No, I'll stay. I don't have much stress. I'll stay for a while. Maybe I can help him out. Maybe we'll get some skill out of this. Or make a friend. Take Christmas off, you need free hard work. Eh? 
I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I know my schedule and I know what I can handle. I've been doing a video a day minimum for about a decade now. I'll be good. Don't worry about me. It'll be fine. Drifting apart. Oh, we're drifting apart from our friend. We only tortured his- or jailed and tortured his husband once. Oh, he's got- she's got a new husband? Oh, the previous one fucking died in my prison. Okay. Yeah, that's a bummer. Yeah, that's a bummer. She's still not over that yet. But remember all the good times? I'm gonna try and keep that hanging on. A library where the books are stacked in corners, unfinished building projects all over the place. Most noticeably, a whole dining hall and a chest of gold just standing in the middle of a hallway. His castle's a mess. Okay. Stewardship challenge. Learning challenge. Diplomacy challenge. We would have the highest success chance on... Learning, although they're all almost the same. I think I can help out with the dining hall. Let's go with that one. I feel like that could be good. Either nothing happens or nothing happens, but it'll lead to something. I'm going to try and help him with the dining hall. That's a stewardship challenge. All it needed was dedicated attention. I soon have Prince Will... Wariston's uh, dining hall well on its way to completion. Things are looking good, and there are other areas I can still help him out in. The books, the poor books. Well, that's our next highest chance to succeed one. I'm surprised we're not gaining stress doing this. Bound books, loose documents, decorated spines. After a lot of reshuffling, there is finally some semblance of order in the chaos that is Prince Wariston's library. Things are looking good, and there are other areas I can still help help out in. There's a chest of gold. <laughs> that chest of gold is very unguarded. Okay, there's like 50-50 on if uh, he takes my warning to heart or if he's planning something else. That's fine. I will, I'll try. I'll try. We're, na we're getting at least two out of three so far. As I explain the risks of keeping the chest of gold out in the open, his eyes widen with realization. Oh, of course it shouldn't be out there, thank you. I've done all my part to help. Wow, I think we succeeded all three, and yet we still can't win an 8% challenge. Now it's time for bed. I can't believe we didn't gain stress doing that. Are we diligent or something? Paranoid, fickle, lazy. Wow, you didn't think you'd think we'd get stress for being lazy and doing that. I spot him by the entrance, waiting to see me off in the morning. As I walk up, I hear him muttering to himself, He is great, the castle's like new. Um, after a quick goodbye, I am soon on the road and back home again. Glad I was able to help. Only a 20% increase in opinion? Okay, it's enough to get him above zero, so at least he's not skimming tax from me anymore. 8% bugged challenge. Are we at, like, are we totally sure that's bugged? Is that, like, a confirmed thing? Being raided? Oh, that's a big raid! That's, like, as big as our army! Okay, they're probably not as- they're not very high-quality troops. I'm willing to fight them. I don't want that big of a raid in my land. Okay, cross the river. Chances are even. They have more army commander traits. We have a better army commander. Ours is really good, but he's reckless. Okay, well, this guy's almost as good, but he's my spy master. I don't want him to die. Rough terrain expert. What terrain are we fighting on in a moment? Oh, that's rough terrain. Hell yeah, rough terrain expert. Okay. Chances are even- I still think this will pull ahead. I think we'll win on that. Can you raise the merc skill? No, that- that contract's over. Oh, intrigue perk. So many things. Digging for dirt. Find secrets progress up. That's been a really good trait. Every woman for herself. The forceful knock at my door clears every bit of drowsiness from my mind. Who disturbs a king at this hour? My late night visitor is none other than Sunhild, who hates me. <laughs> 
I had to speak with you privately, away from listening ears. I've discovered something very interesting. She's discovered a secret of Prince... <laughs> who's my uncle, who also doesn't like me. She's willing to share it with me if I let her off the hook. Oh, because she has a hook. You think you make it make demands? Tell me or else. Um... She won't like it and she might get wounded. Fuck it, I don't care if she doesn't like it. I have a strong hook on her. Tell me or else. There, we, we learned that he butt fucks. We already knew that. His treat page says he's gay. Our wife is with child, but we don't know. I will look discreetly. This is the fourth time we have done this 9 or 8% chance thing. If we fail again, I am going to declare this a bug. Eight knights, they have twelve. Uh, we have better traits for this, but it's still not fun. Their king is the one commanding. Suspicions laid to rest. Unfortunately, she found out. Okay, it's bugged. It's just bugged. Our knight was wounded. Great. We might lose that just barely. But they'll flee, so I don't care. We spend a little money raising them. They'll come back, and they'll have to flee because they lost so many numbers. I wish the locals would join in and help me more. They're the ones getting raided. <laughs> hey, your uncle's gay. I know, it said so on the dust jacket. I like your reference. <laughs> Uh, compliments. To make my uncle more uh, susceptible to my attempts at approaching him, uh, I can include a compliment my next missive to his court. I'll be sure to mention his empathy and kind heart. Or keep it short and professional. Uh, empathy and kind heart. Sure. Okay, we're gonna lose that fight, but that's okay. Sorry, there's like a million things popping up. Counselor died? Why? His head was ripped off in combat. His head was just ripped off in combat. Well. That doesn't happen every day. Well, that guy's my new chancellor. And this one's my new steward. There we go. Everything's fine. And the reason why we cannot be friends. few nights. Okay. He's happy. Good. Lost the fight. Not many people died, actually. Almost equal numbers died. Lost the fight, though, which sucks. That might scare him off. I just don't want them to raid my personal land either. Okay, we can come back now. They stopped their shattered retreat. You'll make another attempt because he is not swayed. Well, he does still like me, so I'll drop it. Start swaying this guy next. There we go. Whew. Thanks for bringing the game to your attention. Seven Days to Die, it's a good game, right? We might be recording more soon, but I don't want to make any promises. I just don't know yet. So many things up in the air with how Christmas is happening this week. He went in head first. That's so good. Can you make a new Men in Arms regiment? No, we're maxed out right now. All right. I need to rush to get to work on other stuff. My work got really built up because of the car accident and everything. So let's, let's jump right back into that. Thank you everybody so much for watching the stream. I appreciate it. Um, if you stick around after the stream, um, I'll, I'll try and find somebody to raid. But, um, like I said at the beginning of the stream, from now on, the streams are probably going to be on Fridays or Saturdays I'm going to try. We're going to see. Play it by ear, follow me on Twitter, and I'll keep you guys updated, okay? Thank you everybody so much for following. For I saw the word follow and said the word follow. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.